it's TC again, here with another contest entry. This time I'm trying to bang out a whole bunch of them today, because uh, there's so many good contests to do. Uh, this one is for Ron Haggerty's To The Nines contest. I love Ron's site, uh, love his shows. Uh, Ron, you're terrific in your relationship with your family. I hear them in the background. Of course, your daughter's in and out. Occasionally, those are always fun, and I thought it would be fun to participate. So, let's see. Uh, your question, nine questions. This was hard. Some of these were really hard for me because I, I have limited access to my collection, so I had to dig to get something for everything. Um, starting off with an album from Ron's birth year, 1977. Uh, the greatest solo album, I think, ever put out by Eric Carmen. Boats Against the Current. This is his second solo album. It was the follow-up to his self-titled debut with All By Myself and uh, a few other things trying to reduce the glare here. Uh, this album has this spectacular title track and the single She Did It. Terrific stuff on it. Um, I am a huge Eric Carmen fan. I'm missing one album from my collection. I've still got to pick up. Um, but uh, he is terrific. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping... Uh, that I will eventually get all of his stuff because I love his voice. So my album from your birth year, 1977, was Eric Carmen's uh, Boats Against the Current. came out, I believe, in October. A ninth album from a band. Well, I cheated a little bit on this. I decided to eliminate... Um, I decided to eliminate live albums, greatest hits albums, or counting only studio albums for the most part. And that is why I picked this one. This is the new album, the most recent album, from Hanson, String Theory. This is their ninth album. I'll get it up on camera a little bit better without the glare. String Theory is a two-CD set. It's, 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 it's actually a uh, concept album going through a life using some of their previous hits and a bunch of new material all strung together with a 40-piece symphony orchestra performed live. We had the pleasure of seeing it at the Orpheum Theater here in Boston uh, in the fall of 2018 or spring of 2019. I forget the date. It was stupendous. I've seen my boys in concert four times. That was one of them. And String Theory is amazing. It does have quite a few of their hits on it with all new arrangements done for the symphony. It is terrific. And it is their ninth studio album, Hanson and String Theory from 2018. Had this cheap with the CD. Sorry about that. Um, a nine-minute song. This killed me because I'm not into a lot of the bands that produce longer songs. Um, it was very difficult. Uh, even Donna Summer, I had trouble finding a nine-minute song. But thankfully, my greatest hits, The Best of Kansas, features their nine-minute and six-second opus, Song for America. It's also from one of their earlier albums. I've forgotten which one. Um, Love, Kansas. Don't have any of the other albums. I've only collected greatest hits here because all my favorite songs are here. Had the pleasure of seeing them in concert in the summer of 79. Uh, they were magnificent and uh, always will be one of my favorite bands. And Song for America runs nine minutes and six seconds. Uh, Kansas. Nine minute song. That was hard. A nine song album. I'm surprised nobody else has picked what really is a, an obvious choice if you're a, a child of the 80s. Um, because of the nine songs on the album, uh, I think six of them, maybe even seven of them, uh, were actually radio hits. Thriller. Michael Jackson has nine songs. It includes singles, Girl Is Mine, Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, and PYT, and the album tracks, Want to Be, oh, and Want to Be Starting Something, and the, and the album tracks, Baby Be Mine, and The Lady in My Life. Makes nine tracks, and I'm surprised nobody else brought it up. It's it, To me, it was obvious. That it was the first thing I went for. So, Michael Jackson's Thriller, nine songs. Album from a year ending in nine. I chose 1979. Uh, most of my collection is from the 70s and 80s on vinyl, so that was easier to do than trying to pick later. And I chose uh, one of my favorite artists, Jerry Rafferty. This is Night Owl 
from 1979. This was his follow-up to his platinum album, City to City, which is one of the greatest albums of all time, in my opinion. Um, Night Owl has the singles Days Gone Down uh, and the Why Won't You Talk to Me on it. I think Take the Money and Run was also a single, if I remember right, and Already Gone. Uh, this album, terrific stuff. Uh, Jerry, if those of you might not know, was the lead singer of Steeler's Wheel earlier in the 70s, and his solo stuff. I have most of it. I'm missing a couple albums, but I just love him, and I love his voice. Uh, he's another artist we lost way too young uh, in the early part of the 2000s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just amazing stuff. From 1979, Jerry Rafferty's Night Owl. An album released in September, the ninth month. September 18th, 1979, going back there again. No, sorry, 1978. I think you're wrong. September 18th, 1978, there were four albums released by four people from the same band. I have all four of them, but I didn't want to pull all of them, so I pulled my favorite, Gene Simmons. This is the Kiss solo uh, quartet were released on September 18th. Uh, 1978, and uh, Jeans is my favorite solo album. I like them all, but uh, I love his cover of When You Wish Upon a Star. I love True Confessions. Radioactive, the single, isn't one of my favorite tracks on the album, uh, but he's terrific, and this solo album is great. So are the solo albums from Peter Chris, Paul Stanley, and Ace Fraley, but I still like Jeans the best. From 1978, September 1978, Gene Simmons' Kiss. 90s album back to CD. Um, I was worried because I don't have access to my CDs right now. Uh, they're not in storage. They're just packed up and I haven't got them out in my new area. And I thought, what am I going to do for the 90s? And then I remembered I just bought a whole bunch of CDs. And this one happens to come out in 1990. This is Don Grusin's Raven from 1990. Don is a jazz and pop jazz pianist, the brother of Dave Grusin. Uh, terrific stuff that he does. Uh, I have not heard this yet. I just purchased this a couple weeks ago. I'm waiting to um, play it because I, I, I love his keyboard work. But it came out in 1990, so it actually does uh, qualify. Uh, Don Grusin and Raven. Okay, I failed this one. I looked through all my albums I don't have an album with a nine or the word nine in the title. So I had to trip, uh, jump down and find an album with a song that had a nine in the title. And I decided to go really silly again and pick the album that helped me survive fourth grade. The soundtrack from Multiplication Rock. You can see it's not in the best of shape. I know there was a new edition that came out for Record Store Day a year or so ago, which I love to get. Uh, the song is Naughty Number 9. I don't know if you can see it there. should be right there somewhere. Sung by Grady Tate. I was failing math so bad in the fourth grade until this show came along and helped me survive. Is there anyone from my generation, 70s and early 80s, that doesn't depend on the schoolhouse rock jingles to get through all of school? I'd be surprised. From the album Multiplication Rock, the song Naughty Number no. 9 by Grady Tate. Finally, the ninth one is Positive Vibes Only. I'm a new member of the vinyl community. I've only been doing videos for about three weeks. I've been a lurker for beyond that. And I, I, I was watching another video earlier today, a couple of them, where people have talked about jealousy and, and, and misogyny and stuff going on. And I have to be honest, I haven't seen any of that. Everybody I have talked to has been so kind and so friendly and more than willing to help me uh, find my footing in the VC. I really appreciate that, especially uh, the people who I've gotten to know a little bit better, like Rachel the Music Ma'am, uh, Adam from C Record Crate, who does a great uh, daily show called Coffee and Vinyl. Um, I've talked with Chris uh, Profi uh, before online and, and my guitar player 07 
and I've had some communications with Steve over at Value Vinyl too, um, and and Beth at B Side, and so many other people, and you've all made me feel so welcome, and I really appreciate that. It it's really shows that the vinyl community really cares about one another, and I really, really cannot thank you enough for welcoming me so, uh, so broadly. So. Uh, Ron, this is for your contest. I hope you like my entries. I tried to go off the wall where I could, and um, I, I'm glad that that, uh, that milestone has hit for you, and I can't wait to see other entries in your contest, uh, and I hope you like my entry. Uh, so I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.